everyone, welcome back to the channel and a new video on the Mercedes GLA. Today is the day it is going to go on the frame machine and we're going to see if we can do something with these two front chassis legs. It really, really is apparent now looking at it without the engine in there, how far bent round the tip of that one is. So fingers crossed everything goes to plan. Chris is right beside me there getting the jig ready. We get it loaded on there and start trying to do some pulls on it. So we have found quite a few bits. These bits, you'd think, wow, they're in colour. How lucky was that? But unfortunately, they are from a breaker's yard. RL Autos is where we got quite a few of the Evoke bits. And where they have them all stacked up, they do get quite marked. So unfortunately, they are going to need paint. So we've got the bonnet, the wing, got both hinges down there in black, which was really nice. And we've got the front panel, various other little bits. Still quite a few bits to collect, but nothing that we're going to need for what we're doing at the moment. So we'll just continue on. I did get the airbag kit as well from this guy when I went up there. So it was quite a, a nice parcel of bits and pretty much the majority of what we need. And definitely everything that we're going to need today for getting it all lined up and uh, pulled straight. Let's get straight on with it and get that jig under it. For those of you that have been following us for quite a while, you would have seen us at least once or twice actually using the jig, setting it up. And we do, so I think the last couple of times we have done it on time lapse. It's a very, very vital part of getting this car correctly back exactly where how it should be. And this is a very time consuming part if we time lapsed it, it would probably look like 20 seconds, but to set that up properly, that's a good hour, hour and a half, Chris. Well, I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, we'll, we'll see, but it, basically it does take a long time. So we are going to crack on and get that fitted, but just before we do, I did notice in the last video, a lot of you was horrified. I mentioned the fact that we was going to be pulling these chassis legs straight, and quite a lot of you, I think, my mistake, actually, got the wrong end of the stick. Guys, those chassis legs have to be pulled straight before we can remove them. We actually bought new chassis legs from the dealer, genuine Mercedes. Trying to save them would be a waste of time. And these were very, very cheap. I think that little one was 70 and the larger one was 100. So that's the inside and the outside for this passenger side. But for the driver's side, the actual outside skin has got a tiny little bend in it. And I think once we let the inside one go, that will straighten up on its own. So we've got a new inside one for that as well. So don't panic. We've got nice, new, genuine Mercedes chassis legs. Me and Chris are going to crack on and get this fitted on the jig. Before we do start pulling, I just wanted to show the edge of this wing on the bonnet. You can see we've got that bolted on there now. And you can see there, it's just about to overlap the wing. So that has actually all gone in as well, but that should come out naturally when that comes out. We have put the aluminium bar back in there and bolted it on. Really, we didn't need to do that. We could have pulled it further down, but we've actually put that on there because I'm gonna pop the camera here Excuse the clicking for a minute. I'm going to pop the camera here and it just makes it 
that much easier for you to see. Where it's black on black, it's quite hard to see. So we've popped that in there and hopefully you can see it a bit better. Ready when you are, mate. Basically, what Chris was doing there, where it's bent round and actually creased that chassis leg up, he was knocking that... Yeah, I actually, I will show it. So if you remember, when I took that engine mount off right in between, I said this was right up here. Chris has just beat that back down. So when he takes the tension off that, it can no longer go back to where it was because he's flattened it out to a degree. And then we'll try the bonnet again. Still slightly overlapping there. It's got a bit to go yet, but... You would have seen that's come round a lot just with that first little pull. After that initial pull there, we're quite happy with that. And Chris said, you know, that was even savable, but we don't want to compromise. These do have crumple zones in them, so we are going to be changing that inside rail. But as you can see, the outside is perfect. I'm going to stand up a little bit higher. Chris, can you do us a bit of a demo with that bonnet? We bolted the bonnet on with new hinges and the wing now. And look at that gap. Look at that gap all the way down. It's perfect. We also chuck the gearbox mount back in, both of its bolts and both of the bolts here, and just check that everything was perfect. We, yeah, sorry? Engine mount, what did I call it? Gearbox mount, I beg your pardon. So yeah, basically just been cracking on with getting that one straight. We're now gonna move on to the worst one. You can see, this is one of the old chassis extensions. We've got them there in the new front panel. And we've been using this old one here. That's what we use the other side to pull it. And we're gonna use it this side to pull it. I think you're gonna notice quite a lot when this one's pulled because it really has got a long way to go. But moving on with it, and so happy that we got that so straight and everything seemed to flow and it all went back lovely. Let's move on and get that one done. So again, trying to show as much as I can, and I'm going to try and talk while Chris is pulling that chassis leg, but you won't be able to hear me probably because of the noise of the dozer. But go on, mate. Look how easy that one's coming round. That's probably moved nearly halfway to where it was. We just need to shorten the chain, get a bit more bite on it. Almost back where it needs to be now, guys.
I'm still going to have to go a little bit more, but you get a, a gist of it. And look how much further that has moved in now. What we got there, mate? 465 to the centre. 465, and what are we meant to have? 440. So. Not a great deal left for that to come over. Four, uh, 905. 905 and it's 880. Yeah, so it's 25. 25 mil to go. Yeah. There we go. Now that one's all right. I've just shut that big door there, guys, because the light was shining through and it's so hard to show. Check that out. <laughs> Absolutely bang on, perfectly straight. Nothing's under any stress. The chassis legs are all spot on. I appreciate quite a lot of you that have been watching lately. Our body guys, paint guys, repair guys. And I did just want to reach out and say, everybody's got their own way of doing jobs. And I really do appreciate everyone does them different. Chris has been in the trade many, many years. And he has been jigging cars for over 20 years. And this is the way that he likes to do it. We like to do it. Get them chassis legs as straight as we can, then get the whole car panelled up. Then once we start drilling them out, we know everything's in the right place. We can get them all bolted back in. But there's that chassis leg. It's got a couple of tears in it where we pulled it back round. But this whole thing is going to re re be replaced all the way to this seam here and bolts in there. Chris is just going to... There you go. So that whole chassis leg... Is going to be put in that was actually designed as a crumble zone that then wasn't it and that's where it's gone this tiny little bit here will dress back up that'll be fine but we've just been round gapped it all up and i think you would agree they are absolutely bang on we're really really happy with it so now the process begins we're going to get all this stripped out and crack on and get them chassis legs swapped out. This is what you call dedication, guys. Seven o'clock at night and we're still here. Chris has just took the last spot weld out of that chassis leg. And I said, we'll record that as well, pulling it out. Should be quite easy. It's quite floppy. Go on, mate, whip it out. And there we go. The destroyed chassis leg. And now that new one is gonna join in exactly where the factory had it with all the plug welds, all the spot welds. Lovely, back in the morning. Chris has been cracking on there this morning. You would have seen on that bit of time lapse. Unfortunately, I had an electrician do a few bits at home, so I've just got here. But he's got that new chassis leg in there. He's got it all lined up. And if you do look back at that bit of time lapse, you would have seen he had a vernier gauge out and he's even measured every one of these spot welds where they was on the original one. He's gone through and put them all in exactly the same place, just so that if this car is ever involved, in another accident it will behave in the same way it's not stronger it's not weaker it's exactly how it was from the factory i did want to point out as well you can't really go wrong with this this mounting here let's just turn this one up the right way as you can see it's recessed there and the bed has actually got a dowel that goes in there so it lines up perfect moving around to this side 
you can see where that join is there, the engine mount is actually split. One of the bolts is in this back piece, sorry, staggered, yeah, and one of the bolts is in this front piece here. And then you've got this little mounting up here. Hopefully I called that the right bracket this time, gearbox. So that is all in there. It's perfect. In a minute, we're going to try on the front panel again. Just make sure that's fine. On this side, chassis leg, Chris has started the process of drilling these out already. When you get to here, this bit in particular is actually boron steel, this back half. So he's had to pilot all these out. And when it comes to welding that new one back in there, this is going to be quite time consuming because you've got to wait quite a long time between each weld for it to cool down properly. Otherwise, you could change the, what's the word for it? The composite of the metal. This is very, very strong stuff, Boron. And as you can see, he did just run down it with a slitter and put two slits in that piece of metal just so that when it does come off, it's not all springy or got any kind of tension in it at all. But that inside chassis leg, this side, is perfect. Like I said, we're going to try that front panel on there now that this one's on there. Make sure that we're 100% happy with it and then we'll move on and swap this one out as well. But again, all this has got to come off one more time, but we want to get it, make sure, get the bonnet shut, check everything again before we even think about unpicking that completely and getting that last one off. You will see, Chris has left a couple there that he hasn't done, and these are probably only halfway down, some of these, so let's move on. I know it probably sounds a bit monotonous to people that don't really do cars, but... There's a lot of this that goes on in the background and sometimes it's too much to actually show. You'll get a situation where you're on, off, on, off constantly for quite some time with the panels because you can't weld it all up and then try and put this on and it's not right. It's just going to cause serious problems. So we've just put that on there. It went in there. Perfect. No jiggering or no nothing at all. It just slipped straight in there. We've stuck the bolts in there temporarily, bolted it all up, and all of the gaps, again, are still perfect. So we're completely happy with that now. We can move on and unpick the other side. What I will say about the other side, Chris's little bonnet catch he's made up there off the roof. Brilliant idea. This one here, if you see, that mount for the engine is actually staggered as well. So one half's on that boron side, and one half is on that inside skin. So once that's in there, it's all going back exactly to factory. We've now got to remove that front panel off and get that one unpicked. If you watched that previous bit of time lapse just before this cutting, you would have seen the smoke coming off of here when Chris was drilling it out. That boron steel there is so strong. It just sounds completely different when you tap it to the other metals. And you've, of course, you've got this captivated um, nut this side as well. So you've had to go through three skins. You can see you've got skin there, then the bracket, and then in between that is the actual inside of that chassis leg. We've cleaned all the welds up, got the new one there. If you just slot that in, Chris. Yeah. And there you go. So what we'll do now, Chris will clamp that up, we'll stick a couple of screws in it, and then we'll test fit the front panel once again. There we go. Both new chassis legs, all fully installed with a few little riv nuts and some grips. We've checked the front panel, put it on there one more time, just to make sure that it's all perfect. We've also put that gearbox mount back on, the engine mount back on, 
all of the bolt holes, they just drop straight in and all done up. The landing panel, straight away, as soon as we put this front panel in, the landing panel landed right on the bolt holes, exactly where it should be. So we're quite happy with that now. And it is a nice long video for you. I know a lot of you have been enjoying the longer videos lately and also enjoying us doing quite a lot of live little bits and pieces. Like I said in previous videos, we are trying new things all the time and trying to find that happy medium for everybody. And I know that you have been enjoying that. So there's been quite a nice few live little bits in this one and hopefully you do enjoy them. That is gonna be the end of today's video. We do hope that you'd enjoy it as usual. And if you do, please do give us a thumbs up. We really appreciate it and it shows your appreciation. Like, subscribe and share. Check out the merchandise. The link is in the description and we'll see you later in the week for the next one.